and hello and good evening and welcome to another LVTS X update video. This is the 0.06 heavier industry update and wow it has a lot of fun stuff. Captain Cosmet has been um, away from SE modding for a time but well he's apparently very much back now. So, before we get into all uh, the things, and there's a lot of them, uh, I have placed some silver ore into these containers, so let's just press this shiny button. There we go. And let's get on with it. We'll come back. So, <laughs> we have much, much, much to uh, talk about. So, first off, you have maybe seen this before. This is the Damage Absorber, uh, Tier 7. Uh, I'm not going to go into super much detail here, because, well, uh, I guess I'll just do Damage here, Absorber. So, uh, it absorbs 90% of incoming damage to the grid by redirecting the uh, damage to itself. Uh, and of that damage, the absorber will only take 20% uh, damage. Also, it prevents um, block deformation, and that is kind of an awesome thing. Alright then, next! The Bounty Hybrid modules. They are tier 3, 4 and 5. They have custom modules and look, well, uh, damn good. Let's see here what they do it is a combined power module and i think it's a let's see here also yield module so which means that you get eight instead of the normal four uh, modules out of a single refinery which is very very handy now to make them you are going to need bounty components and you only get them from certain items uh, certain um, encounters uh, and the danger zone so they are pretty hard to come by more on those later all right then then the capacitors now this is something that i kind of have been missing from uh, ba the base game so these are tier 3 and 4, if I'm not seeing, 4 and 5, I was wrong, it happens. And one thing, they start with a full charge, and they take superconductors and power cells, and both of those will get lost if you grind it down, so place carefully, because those are some... Yeah, pretty expensive components, but they uh, don't have that much energy, but they can release a, a, least a lot of them. Uh, which is kind of really cool. I like it. Also, I love the models. Just so nice. Yeah, very... No, I like them. They are really good. Alright, and then we have this chunky boy, which is this tier 6 and tier 7 central refining unit the cru so this is a mega refinery <laughs> if we take a look here um can refine all the ores at very high speed and uh high yield uh, but they are also uh only placeable on static grids which is amazing and i completely love it uh they have four upgrade slots so that's a cool thing, which make uh, so you can compensate for the power usage. Let's see here, which is well, 40 megawatts isn't super bad, I guess. But of course, you want to module this thing up, and well, we're going to see a different thing here in a moment. All right, then, and then the next processing thing is the ore purifier here, six and seven. It looks really cool and industrial, and I like it. <laughs> um, and it will only process silver, gold, and platinum, 
with a lot more yield than um, the normal refineries. So that's really, really cool. So it's basically a high-end uh, arc furnace or basic refinery. So yeah, more choices. And then, no, no, no. Here we have the shotgun turret because everybody loves scatter guns. They are small grid only. Uh, have a greater spread than normal turrets, of course. Let's take a look at the ranges because I think, let's see. Shotgun turrets. 150 meters. 190 for the 4 and 240 meters for tier 5. So they are pretty low range. But I've seen them in action and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll mess you up. Uh, also, I love the models here. They just look oh, budget uh, Iron Storm. <laughs> so that's it for the new blocks. Also, the uh, Eber module, which is a tier eight item, so insanely expensive. Yeah. <laughs> has gotten a new little reskin and I mean it looks gorgeous simple as that all right then and then to another fairly big change here lead it has been added in as a new material uh, you can see here I got some ingots it's using the uh, iron ingot uh, for the module Maybe Cosmos will change it up, I don't know. And it's a blackish little material, looking good. Can be found on asteroids, Earth and Moons. Uh, its main use is for shotgun ammo. The um, ammo for the T4 and T5 uh, bound turrets. Uh, T3 uh, and higher missiles and also the absorption cells. So that's really, really nice. I really like it. Well then, also... In all the non-vanilla um, production units, the industrial ones, this is now an access port. Oh, that is so good. And the same here for, I think, oh, this is a normal one. Let's go here. Here, you can go up. You can access stuff here. Oh, that is glorious. Which brings us... To our little experiment, I placed, as you saw, 1,000 of each of the ingots of silver, no, ores, into the refinery. And let's see. So we got 200 here. Fair enough. And that is a vanilla refinery with vanilla yield modules. Then here, 580, which is, this is a tier 5 refinery with tier 5 modules. Uh, and then we have the ore purifier, 850, which is giving pure silver, which can then be refined again in a refinery. So let's just grab that as we go to the um, central refining unit where we got 732. And if we go here and then there, come on, 840. <laughs> so two steps a lot of extra power but hot damn that's a lot and this bad boy which is full of the ebro modules takes a, a cool 526 megawatts to run so that's kind of a big deal yeah and the insane thing here cosmet has been doing this for the last week or so the changes which is just amazing. There are other uh, changes as well. Uh, Rarium has been rebalanced, which is cool. Uh, not that I've got, ever gotten uh, that uh, far. And a lot of fixes as well. So I have to say, as always, Captain Cosmet, um, I am so, so impressed by what you get going. It's it's insane <laughs> it's just wow it's yeah and i am so much looking forward to playing around with lvdsx in the very near future 
that will be it for me for now thank you so so much for watching have a very good one and keep on engineering bye bye